Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about Project One Nights of CS50 Introduction to Artificial Intelligence with Python. If you would like to have full support from a programming expert, check the description below. And we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have an alternative view about the problem. We totally disencourage plagiarism. So basically, in the Nights project, we're going to write a program to solve logic puzzles, okay? Basically, in here, we're going to use the model checking okay algorithm all right that we saw during the lecture but we're going to see an animation that explains a little bit better and one thing that we have in mind the knights are always saying the truth and the knaves are always lying okay and one person cannot be a knight and a knave at the same time so we can work with this idea of learning about the knowledge base okay but we're going to see this better after the animation okay Right now, let's understand what we have in our hands. The knowledge base is all the information that we know. This is the knowledge that the AI is provided about the word in the form of propositional logic sentences that can be used to make additional inferences about the word. The inference is a process of deriving new sentences from old ones. In this project, we will use the model checking algorithm Basically, we will use the knowledge base to draw inferences. We will enumerate all the possible models and in each case, we will check if it's true based on our knowledge base, which means that we can conclude that the proposition is true. Otherwise, it is false. So, like we saw in the animation, we're gonna work here with this model of checking things, okay? And we're gonna use the knowledge base. And we're gonna evaluate some sentences in order to find the correct answer for those things, okay? So, in this case, for example, we wanna check uh, the puzzle will be A says I'm both a knight and a knave. So, basically, we're going to do some things in here to find out what is the truth, okay? If A is a knight or a knave. For each case, we're gonna, dis we're gonna dis uh, discover what is what he actually is. And to implement those things, those things that we saw in the animation, the sentence, the and, not, or, uh, basically everything that makes the model work, they are already implemented here by CS50, so we just need to use, okay? Just need to reuse. So, let's start our code. Basically here it's saying add knowledge to knowledge bases, knowledge 0, 1, 2, and 3 to solve the following puzzles. So one thing that is really important, it's really important that we create a knowledge base for everything. Okay, so something that will be truth for every cases. Okay, so all the information that we know so far. So what do we know? We know that A, B, or C, they cannot be knight and knave at the same time. Okay, they can be or knight or knave. So we can work with this. All right, so let's start implementing. So, like I said, let's start creating this. So before we create the knowledge 0, 1, and 3, let's create the main knowledge base that we have. So this will be truth for every case. So this will be the knowledge base, okay? And I'm gonna use an and here. And now we're gonna start creating this that A can only be knight or a knave. B can only be a knight or a knave. And C can only be a knight or a knave. Like we can see in here, it's already created the A knight, A knave. So we can use this variables okay so or a knight or a name okay and the same thing for here's just the capital key and here we're gonna do the same thing for b and c they can only be one or the other okay so where i have a here i'm gonna change to b and when i have here a i'm gonna change to c okay now we also need to say that they cannot be both so we're gonna create here a not and a knight and a knave. So we need to be very specific that we don't want them to be the same, okay? They can only be one of them. So we're gonna do the same in here. So I'm gonna change here to B and I'm gonna change here to C. Oops, C knight and C knave. Okay, so this is our knowledge base. This is everything we have so far, okay? Now we can start working with every puzzle. So basically I'm not gonna use in here because 
we have all the questions in here as well, okay? So the first one is saying, A says I am a both, I'm both a knight and a knave. So let's think about the options. So basically when A says that I am both a knight and a knave, we have two implications, we have two sentences. Or A is a knight and he's saying the truth, that he's a knight and a knave at the same time. Or A is a knave and he's not saying the truth, he's lying that he's a knight and a knave. Thinking about, uh, without thinking about the AI, we know that A is a knave because we know that A cannot be a knight and a knave at the same time. So he's lying, all right? But we have to make our, our AI understand this, our AI to find the solution for us, okay? So we're gonna work with these two implications, all right? And this will help us to work in our code. So let's start implementing this. So let's start applying here. We need to put in here our knowledge base, okay? Because our knowledge base will help us understand what we have to do. And we're gonna add the implication. So we're gonna put the two possible ways that we saw in the, the drawing. Basically, the first implication will be that A is a knight, okay? And that he's saying the truth, that he's both knight and knave, okay? So we're checking if he's saying the truth in here. So if he's a, a knight, we're expecting that this is true, okay? The second implication is, what if A is a knave? So we're gonna do this in here, A is a knave. So this means that this sentence that he, he said is false. So here it's not and A knight and A knave, okay? It's exactly what we saw in the drawing. So we have these two possible ways. We use the knowledge base that is telling us that we can't be both at the same time, so this will help us figure it out what is the correct answer. Then we're, uh, we're saying that if A is a knight, the sentence that he said is true, that he's both knight and knave. If he's a knave, this sentence is false. So now that we have here in our hands, let's see the, what we receive. So if we run Python puzzle, here it's saying A is a knave, and this is what we were expecting. Okay, because we know that you cannot be a knave and knight at the same time. So we know that uh, A was lying, so A is a knave, okay? Now let's do puzzle one. So now for puzzle one, we're saying A says we are both knaves and B says nothing. So let's see this drawing. In here, I removed the B because since B is saying nothing, we don't need to add anything, but we know that A says we're both knaves. So or A is a knight and he's saying the truth that he's a knave and B is a knave, and we kind of know that this is false. Or A is a knave and he's not true saying that A and B are knaves. Okay, so this is the implication we're gonna write. So in here, again, we're gonna apply the knowledge base. Okay, knowledge base, we need this. And then we're gonna do the implication. So the first implication we're gonna do is that A is a knight and A it's a knave and B is a knave. B is a knave, okay? The second implication is that A is a knave and he's lying about that he and B it's a knave. So A K knave, B K B knave, okay? And if we run this in here right now, we're gonna check that A is a knave and B is a knight, okay? Because here we know that A is not uh, a knave, a is not a knight because he here he's saying that he's a knight and he's a knave, so this is not true. And when we say that A is a knave and this sentence that A and B are knaves is false, we know that B cannot be a knave since this is false, so B should be a knight. So this puzzle is correct, okay? Now let's see the second one. A says we are the same kind, B says we are of different kinds. So let's see 